Welcome on all to Mission Escape. Here I am with an interesting topic, Hidden Markov Model. A Markov Model is a system that produces a Markov chain and Hidden Markov Model is nothing but the transition states are hidden. These both HMM and Markov Model depends on two rules. The first rule says that there will be a certain observation and the second rule says that there will be certain state transition given that the state of the model at a certain time. HMM ER is an interesting application of hidden Markov model for bio sequence analysis and in HMM ER we can use that for such sequence databases for homologs of protein sequences and also for making protein sequence alignments. It implements the methods using probabilistic model called profile hidden Markov model or simply called profile HMMs. To give a profile and search against a database you want to use other packages in HMM ER such as HMM built to build a profile of HMM from an input multiple alignment, HMM search, in which you can search the profile HMM against a sequence database. Similarly, you can use HMM scan to search a sequence against a profile HMM database and a HMM ally if you want to make a multiple alignment of many sequences to a common profile. But here I am going to demonstrate PHMMER where you search a sequence against a sequence database. PHMMER in which it will search a sequence against a sequence database. It, it is a kind of BLASP kind of thing. Means if you give a protein sequence, it will go for a, a database and find it out. Okay. Then what happens internally? Internally, HMMER builds a profile, H profile HMM from your sequence itself. Means you, you are giving a single query sequence, right? In that itself, it will build a HMM profile and using a simple position independent scoring system such as BLAS BLOSM62 block substitution matrix 62 scores are then converted into probabilities plus a gap open and gap extend probability well format DB must be used in order to format protein or nucleotide source databases before this database can be searched by BLASTAL or BLASTPGB in this case we are going to use HMM search look over here this is the command for format db so hyphen i indicates the input file our input file is that fasta sequence then hyphen p indicates uh, hyphen p indicates the type of file here the type of file can be mentioned as t or f t refers to protein whereas the f refers to nucleotide here we are using protein sequences so thus thus i have mentioned t hyphen v is familiar to us it means verbose so by default it is F okay fine after executing it I got these uh, files so if you enquire about that log file we can find whether our, our database have been successfully created yeah it have been created it have been formatted successfully good the comment is phmmer and that query dot fasta and that database our database is 38 secret fasta everything about the output is essentially as previously described for hmm search the first section in the header that tells you that what program you ran uh, see look over here this tells we ran phmmer and the second section is that the sequence of top hit list and this list of our top hits so it is list on rank top hits they are sorted by the e value score and other things for the domain this is for the full sequence and for the best one domain and the explanation of that sequence but the more thing to be concentrated here is about the e value and score of the full sequence yeah in which the most important we should consider is the e-value in the first column so the e-value is based on the sequence bit score so how m how much low the e-value that much more the significant hit is the second thing to be considered is the bit score so the bit score is nothing but log out score for that complete sequence uh, look over here the e-value is the least among compared to the other things 
compared to the second sequence uh, e values see the second sequence e value goes up compared to this whereas uh, the second column the means the second section of the column it says about the e value of only one domain particular domain of that protein so this is the way we should analyze the sequence uh, output of this sequence search so you can observe a similarity as if in HMM search but the only difference between HMM search and PHMM ER is that there we use profile to search against the database but here we use a protein sequence to search against the protein database okay that's all about HMM search using PHMER. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining Mission SK.